All right, thanks so much, Eric. Our next guest took his love of sports and his love of writing, put those together, and created a project that honors his hometown and his sport that he loves so much, football. It's a movie called The Prattville Way, and you can see it on the big screen, but for a limited time only. So here to tell us all about it, the creative mind behind the film, Ricardo Bates. It's so good to see you. Thanks I've heard so me. many good things about you. You posted on Facebook that you were going to be on the show, and I can't tell you how many people <laughs> chimed in and said how proud they were of you and how they were looking forward to seeing this film. Must make you feel uh, great. Uh, it's always great to, uh, to have that love and you know, that warm reception from your, your hometown people. Yeah, and you said this was a, a labor of love. You have a small team that you work really, really hard yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zach Gramillion, who was uh, the editor behind the project, uh, we spent many, many hours. Uh, we put a lot of time and energy into it. It was some days that we would be in the war room and we would be in there for eight or nine hours mm. and only produce you know, two minutes of like actual worthy content to actually put into the film. So yes, but it's done now. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you get to sit back and, and watch uh, this, this film that you put together. Talk to us about the premise of it. What is it about? Um, the Prattville Way is, you know, it's going to cover the history of Prattville High School football. At one point in time, we were uh, ranked as high as number two in the nation. Uh, we were a powerhouse in the state, winning three consecutive state championships. When were you there? What, what time are we talking about? Uh, I was about? on 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they call it the, uh, the, the glory years. Uh -huh. uh, 2006, and we defeated Hoover. Um, and then they went on a run and won two consecutive after that, and then one in 2011. But I want to tell the story of the history of it. How did we get to that point? Because a lot of people just think it was an overnight success, and people don't see all of the uh, time and energy and you know, hard work that we put into it to get it to that point. And here you are sitting here, a yeah. filmmaker, and a lot of what you learned as far as discipline, as far as finishing what you started, as yeah. far as, you know, being in that war room for yeah. hours at a time, <laughs> getting it done, you learned it through football. Yeah, uh, I think football is the greatest game. Uh, it parallels life. Uh, it's a lot of things that you can take, like you just said, that I applied to this film, um, dealing with a lot of adversity, overcoming in that, and, you know, the triumph at the end. So. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm excited for everyone to see it. Um, Do you have to be from Prattville or from no, this no, no, area no, of to course, get it? Of course not. If you're just a, like this stadium, and I know that they are, if you're just a football fan in general, you know, if you want to see, you know, a great story, a relatable message of family, community, hard work, you know, overcoming adversity, triumph. I mean, the Prattville way is for you. Yeah, so you're not in Prattville now. You don't live in Prattville now. Uh, yeah. But so you screened it in Houston, where you live now. Sc screened it twice. And uh, how, how'd that turn out? It was a lot of love. Yeah. You know, it was like you said, it was that sigh of relief. Everybody could follow along. And some people even saying, I wish I went to that school. <laughs> so that made me feel really, really good to know yeah. that. Uh, how much time you put into it, the people really received it well. Yeah, so you're going to have probably a lot of people who are right there with you uh, on the sidelines or out there on the field yeah. going to see it. What do you think they're going to think of um, it? I just, want, I just want everybody to see, you know, the passion that these people that were in the film, that it just jumps out on the screen. You know, yeah. it's, it's a director's dream. I didn't have to coach them much. It was just, they were just passionate about Prattville football. So I think a lot of people are going to leave the theater, you know, when they go see it, uh, inspired. I think it's going to be a lot of conversations going on, and I think that people are going to be proud to yeah. be from Prattville, like I am. Yeah, so it opens Friday. Opens Friday. Goes for a week to Both. the 15th, or not quite a week, to the 15th. It's the 9th through the 15th right. at the Carmike there in uh, Prattville. It's going to be uh, showing at 1, 4, 30, 7, 30, 9, 30. Oh, so a lot of chances to see it. And, uh, and here he is, your hometown guy, and they're <laughs> so proud of you. Like I said, right. so many people chimed in, and, and I'm so proud of you. And right. I hope this is just the beginning Thank you. of filmmaking yeah. for you. We can say we knew you win. <laughs> All right, Ricardo Bates, go see his Prattville Way, the Prattville Way showing at the Carmike from the 9th through the 15th. We're heading into the kitchen when we come back here on Alabama Live, so don't go away. What is Leslie cooking up? We'll have to see. Stay with us. <laughs> 